Hi guys! Today I'm going to talk a little bit about all the tools that make my mom life a lot easier. First up is the pressure cooker, which I absolutely adore. I'm a fast girl, I have to do everything quickly, so I'd rather whip up a curry in 20 minutes than leave it on all day in a slow cooker. That's just me. You may have a different preference, and that's fine. I've even done KFC in this. Kentucky Fried Chicken style chicken in my pressure cooker. It is possible, guys. I can't remember how many this is, but it's a heavy duty one. It can hold a lot. And this is Presto, really great brand, trusted brand, so you can't go wrong with this. <laughs> Up next is my lovely food processor. This is definitely a godsend. Everything I get done is like zzz, and I'm done. Whole blocks of cheese, by the way, which you get cheaper when you buy it in blocks. Yay, save money, thrifty. In here, couple seconds and you have shredded cheese. And then you bag it and you freeze it and then yeah, that's it. I do Greek salads in here. I chop tomatoes in here for salsas. And if you have a family of four, I think this is actually a good size because this can do recipes for four to six servings. No more slaving away in the kitchen, chopping vegetables for hours. Now we must talk about buying rice cooker, which is absolutely my invisible sous chef, because I can be in the middle of getting ready for yoga class or something. I throw on some rice, set it and forget it. It's like magic. Everything is done in under 20 and I have time to spare. I was refusing to get this for a long time until I did, but now I'm an absolute convert. Get yourself a rice cooker and your cooking will be a lot more faster and more enjoyable. Another really cool aspect of the rice cooker is that it frees up your stove space so you can have that extra space to do something else, right? And it also reduces wastage because guess what? Less burnt bottoms. <laughs> so you have less rice thrown away in your garbage because you forgot to stir the rice properly or you left it on the stove. So I've got my handy dandy blender, which I think is a no-brainer for most of y'all because every household will have a blender. But I would definitely implore you to get one that is tested tried and true by professionals and this one ranks on top. It's a powerful blender that can do a ton of things for a fraction of the cost. And you get so many cool features and it's so durable guys. You can do soups, sauces, smoothies, gravies. I even use this as a coffee grinder, but you have to make sure that the cup is completely dry before you do dry ingredients and processing, right? It can't tolerate extremely hot liquids, so you have to let your liquid cool down before you add it to the blender to process it. All in all, I love this blender. It's been very good to me and it makes food processing a cinch and so much easier. The KitchenAid mixer is really great for those moms and dads who are very much into baking a little bit, you know, for your kid's birthday, you want to do something special. You could do pizza doughs in here, um, pie doughs. This bowl size is perfect for families of four, up to 10 and you don't have to worry about spending hours, well, not hours, you don't have to worry about spending a ton of energy needing large quantities. And I love that the designers had the forethought to do a little attachment here, a receiver for their pasta maker. They also can be used to attach your ice cream maker as well and meat grinder. I think there are other attachments as well, but I'll definitely give that in the caption below so you can go and find out. I think good cookbooks arm your mind with really great recipes. They're tested, tried and true, so you can rest assured that you're gonna be making something great when you try something. For the first one, I would definitely recommend the Flavor Bible. It gives you ideas on how to pair different flavors if you're not familiar with how things would taste. I have this one, Finding Fire. This gives you the essentials of wood fire cooking, how to manipulate the heat, how to light wood. Gives you different flavor pairings as well. The third one is Indian Cooking by Madder Jeffrey, and this really makes you delve into the world of international cuisine, exotic flavors to spice things up in the kitchen. And the last one here is The Food Lab, and it empowers home cooks to understand the chemistry behind cooking, just everything that's happening on a molecular level, and I love it. There's so much wealth of information in here. These little helpers are little but talawa. That simply means that they're small, but they carry a big impact. My meat thermometer, which has a probe at the end. I love it, it's digital. You just open, insert, and you get instant read on the temperature of the meat internally, so you know when to take it off the heat. And look, it's magnetic. So I can put it in easy reach of my stove, just stick it on anywhere in your microwave or your stove, and you're good to go. Now let's talk about our salt pig. This handy dandy canister for our salt is perfect. First of all, because it has a wide opening, so it's easy to grab a pinch. You can avoid the salt caking up. You don't have to shake 
the salt anymore while you're working. And it's easy to just grab your measuring spoons and dip freely because of the wide opening, as we mentioned. Now onto our spiralizer. I love this because it really just makes veggies into artful and intricate shapes, even impossible shapes that you can't achieve with a paring knife. It actually makes vegetables taste differently because it's in a different shape. I find that eating a cucumber, for example, as a noodle is a lot more enjoyable and my kids agree. Cucumber, zucchini, carrots, apples, spiralize it. Now for the lovely ceramic skillet, which I adore. It's really perfect for egg dishes, which I make a lot of. It's smooth, everything lifts off very easily, have no sticking, apart from the cast iron skillet. This is lightweight, so it's perfect, non-stick, and it's not toxic. These are the positive rewards of advanced technology, a much easier life. And I am so enjoying what these tools do for me. Guys, if you want to see a lot more, all of these tools and so much more, check my Amazon storefront at the link below. And remember, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Don't be afraid, I don't bite. I will answer every single one of them. All right, happy cooking.